Hey guys, welcome back. I just recently picked up the DJI FPV system and I really got to say this thing is amazing. Okay, okay. Anyways, like I said, I am sold on the DJI system. I love it and I am going to be using it for a while. So today I'd like to um, talk to you guys specifically about this right here. This is the DJI FPV uh, remote and um, right when I got it I noticed that I really um, liked it so I'm just gonna tell you guys five reasons why you should use the GGI FPV remote alrighty so reason number one is um, basically the overall just concept of this remote that I really enjoy and that is simplicity so this thing just compared to all the other remotes out there, if you just look at it, you can tell it's much simpler. Um, and I mean, there's a couple overall things that make it that way. Um, there's no screen right here. And for me, that's I think that's really a win because I kind of just like to do um, get out there and fly, a couple programming things, and then get out there. So, I mean, we have four switches right here. One, two, three, four. We have two antennas, that's more than usual, but that's fine because it's not really much. Um, two buttons, that is it. No screen, no scrolling wheel, two buttons. And then we've got these two things, don't really apply to us here. And I think that's, I mean, that's all you need. It's the simplicity of this thing, really, um, it's just an overall concept that you'll see come into play with all the other um, reasons, but yeah, it's simple, and that's one reason why uh, it's gonna be good for a lot of people, because, especially beginners, because it can get you into the hobby, and it's simpler than other things, and it's easy to set up, and I just really like that about it. So, next tip. All right, so the next reason why I think that um, you guys should use the DJI FPV remote is um, just, because of the durability of this thing. So um, overall, it's much more durable than other remotes. And um, there's two antennas on here. And one thing that I really like is that they both fold up and they're resting on top of each other. So if you put it in your bag and there's pressure that is put on either of these antennas, it pushes down on the other one and it prevents it from snapping. Another thing is the switches are kind of small and out of the way, and they're kind of protected by the antennas. So that really uh, lends into durability. And the, um, the gimbals, they're also kind of small, and some people think that's a bad thing, but for most people, you can kind of get past it. And I feel like they also are pretty durable. I've actually dropped this one directly on the gimbals, and they seem to be fine. So. And like I said before, there's no scroll wheel or anything like that. So that makes it very durable, where there'd be a screen or something like that. Um, and overall, it's just built very solid compared to other remotes. Um, I feel good just putting it in my bag and um, and just having it jostle around because I've, it's very um, durable. So yeah, just overall, I think it's built very well and it's pretty durable. Along with that, um, it's also portable. It's a little bit smaller than most remotes, so it's easy to stick into a bag, and the durability lends to that also. So the third reason why I think um, you guys should use this, and just another cool thing that is good about the DJI remote, um, is the battery. So um, on other remotes like a Taranis QF7, which I'll actually get out here. Um, so, on other remotes like this, the battery is in the back, and 
something that I don't like about it is that it doesn't come with any battery. Um, so it comes with a tray to fit double A's sometimes. If I can open this. It comes with a tray inside um, the back of it that to fit double A's. Sometimes, some of them don't. But other than that, it doesn't come with any batteries. And so that means you have to get a LiPo battery to put into it and plug in, and you have to charge it um, and take it out and do all that sort of stuff. But the DJI um, remote, it comes with a battery. Uh, it's a very uh, big battery that fits in it. It's meant for the remote. Um, and it has a lot of charge. Okay, so the third thing that I don't, or fourth thing, that I don't think a lot of people would think of um, as like a benefit, but they wouldn't really, I mean, if you think about it and realize it, it's definitely a benefit. And that fourth thing is range. So if you get this with the other DJI components, um, it gives you amazing range like the rest of the system and it comes with the range. So something like the Tyrannus, which I have here, if you want good range, you have to actually put in a Crossfire module in the back, which is another $100. And it doesn't just come with like one that's made to fit it. It's always a separate purchase that you have to get. Um, rather than the DJI FPV system, it has a really uh, good range system built in. So these, you can go for freestyle as far as you need to go, like when you're using Crossfire with this. And um, I think that's a very good feature about it. I know like other pilots, I've heard like um, LaDriv and uh, what, uh, another person, I forget, um, say that they just use this remote because of how easy it is to use and because it provides enough range. Um, so yeah, it has this range. It doesn't have any extra um, module thing you have to put in the back and it doesn't stick out. It just has these two antennas and it gives you a ton of the range straight out of the box. And it's not a thing you have to set up or open up your Tyrannus like this and do a mod to it just to fit in your thing. So I think that also helps um, helps with the simplicity of it and the easy setup. So yet again, good for beginners. Okay, so the last reason why um, I like this thing and why you guys should use it is because of the compatibility. You wouldn't really think of this um, if you're just if you're just uh, using it. You wouldn't really think about compatibility because it can't. You, um, connect to like a ton of different uh, drones or whatever, like um, a Tyrannus, you can have so many models on here, but um, for the digital system, it is compatible with everything. So the DJI stuff is a whole different thing than the analog side of things, and so far it's the only one out there. So. That means that this radio, it can bind to several different drones using a DJI Air unit, um, which makes it compatible because those are the, the DJI Air unit is the only thing you'll be uh, binding to, or Cadex Vista, and you can also do that. So it's compatible with multiple drones, and um, that pretty much, all those features, I think they just sell, they sell it for me. So yeah, all those things, I think that's why I use the, um, DJI remote and that's why I'm definitely going to be using this for a long time to come it's just it's very simple and yeah I think you guys out there you could use this and you'd benefit from it so yeah that's basically the end of the video don't know what else to talk about so see you guys in the next one we'll probably be doing some more DJI videos something about this maybe build flights. I don't know. All right, bye.